Yeah, welcome to the video. Today we have the Sarto Setup Plus for you. a really special bike let me start by the frame set um, we have a handmade uh, carton full carton frame uh, handmade in Veneto Italy northern Italy and this is, is their Zeta plus model uh, disc brake bike Zeta um, you can see it here they like attack. They did it with a, with a negative in order to bake it into the carbon, so you have this nice um, font here. That says Zeta. The special thing about this bike is it's their first. Um, it's their fully integrated uh, disc brake road bike. You can see here uh, no cables are visible. The only cables that are visible are the brake houses uh, over here at the fork and in the back. The, the chain stays so it makes a really clean look really clean all out of the wind really slick we have a nice tire clearance this is a 28 tubeless uh, tire and we still have some clearance so up to 32 would be fine I guess and this bike has uh, another special thing it's this <coughs> Filament. You see those red lines inside the carbon. Those are actually woven inside the carbon, which makes a really cool look. You can choose those in green, blue, or um, red. We have a 27.2 C post. Um, the stem is actually from a um, manufacturer called Ursus. Uh, if you can see it here, the plate, the handlebar as well, and the cables, so um, the brake hoses and um, the gear cables, they go inside the handlebar, inside the stem, down the steer tube, and inside the fork or in the down tube to the derailleurs and the brake. We have split spaces, of course. Because into, if you want to change the spacer layup, you can't just take them out. You would have to take the cables out to the split spacer. It's really a nice touch and saves you a lot of work. Um, this particular bike comes with a saddle uh, in the same carbon uh, style as well, with those red um, lines woven inside the carbon. Really nice carbon rails, big cutout, which is really comfortable. This bike is built with um, Campagnol Super Record 12 speed, new group set, EPS, electronic group set, and of course disc brake. The derailleur has, um, so this, this uh, group set was completely redesigned by Campagnolo. You can see the derailleur has gotten bigger, slightly bigger. I reckon that the cage got longer as well because it can tackle up to 32, even 34. To uh, cassette now, cassettes now. Also, the chain rings, uh, the crank set, have been redesigned. There's no hole anymore, which makes it a really more aero looking. And it's supported until this edge here with carbon, so they say it will increase stiffness as well. Front derailleur looks pretty much the same, there's not much difference. Um, the colorway is a bit different, there's less red in uh, the logos so that isn't too bad I think and the super record group set is really the top notch uh, group set so you can see even the plate the outer plate of the rail here is made out of carbon the rear layer is pretty much while the EPS is not uh, doesn't have as much carbon as the uh, the mechanical version but also the plates out of carbon they have ceramic bearings in the pulley wheels. 
So it's a really fancy story there. Left crank, there's the hole, of course, you have to tighten it inside the bolt. 60 Newton meters are recommended. Flat mount uh, disc calipers, really, really small, really sleek looking. 140 rotor over here, 160 in the front. Also, here flat mount, of course. I recommend you um, ride this bike without gloves because it's really uh, your hand fits really really well inside this, this STI. I rode it with gloves um, yesterday, so it, it felt a bit chunky over here. Um, I couldn't get a, a really nice grip. I didn't feel really comfortable with, uh, with, the, with the gloves. This build up is actually pretty nice. You can like hold on to it if you are in, in an aero position, and you can just like rest your arms like this get you in a really nice time trial position even. Handlebar is nice too, this section here is longer I reckon if you, if you, if you would draw a line here down you get like two additional, two additional centimeters or one inch this gives you the possibility to really nicely rest your arm and you won't be disturbed by uh, this edge of the handlebar over here of course it's not the lightest bike, but that's not the, the aim for Sarto. They want uh, durable, customized and elegant road bikes. And in my opinion with the Zeta Plus they really achieved this objective. Uh, let's check out the free hub body sound. It's always interesting, especially with the new company of the wheels. So a really nice, quiet, but anyway, kind of cheeky, uh, cheeky kind of sound. So it's not, it's not the noisiest, which is really, which is nice on the street. You can still talk to each other <laughs> without getting disturbed by your free hop sound. Nice little kind of Italy touch. So hit me up if you have any questions about Sarto, but the bikes I will. Uh, of course, enhance my expertise in those bikes in the coming months and years. Peace out!